So this is a really interesting podcast. This is a podcast musical, right? I don't know how yeah. else to describe it, but it was an 11 episode. 10. 10, 10 episodes, mm -hmm. pardon me. Ser uh, a podcast, and we're done now, right? Or we're going to continue with the second. Well, the other seasons will be different musicals written by different people. Right. And but it's, it has a small amount of autobiography. A good amount. Yeah, net, a good net, amount. Straining through it as well. Yeah, it yeah. was originally going to be a Hedvig sequel, but I wanted to examine the second half of her person's life. And the, the character, originally Hedvig, uh, is living in a Junction, Junction City, Kansas, 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 in a right, trailer right. again. Yeah. Um, and he has a brain tumor and his insurance has lapsed. And so he's crowd funding, crowd funding his treatment, treatment on a fictional app. Uh, that's a telethon app <laughs> called In Telethon, and uh, telling his life story as he's waiting for the money over to come the course in. of these episodes. And yeah. I, have, I have to tell you that it, the circumstances of it seemed too real to me. It just felt know, like just how is there not an In Telethon app? How is this not something that's actually happening? I also happened? invented Grinder. <laughs> uh, the idea of it in uh, in Short Bus. It's, it was pre iPhones, pre apps, so it was like a, a freestanding hardware. Right. Piece and it was called Yenta, which was <laughs> the name Where of are your the matchmaker. I know, that is the mystery I know, to me. Where I never roles? was good with money. The thing about the podcast that I love is who's in the podcast with you? Glenn, Glenn Close, Close, Cynthia Erivo, who's Oscar nominated for the Harriet Tubman movie this uh, this mm -hmm. time. Patty Lapone, yep. right? Dennis, Dennis O'Hare, Laurie I mean, you, Anderson. It's amazing to me that you've not. It's not amazing to me, but it is amazing to me that you've got all these people who continue to. Support you, surround you. Some right? of them are people I knew. Uh, some were fans of Hedvig. Some were new Well, I think Glenn Close friends. and Patty Lapone famously were fans of Hedvig yes. back at the West Beth yes. days, I right? All the way joke. back. Um, you're working on a novel? Yes. I went to uh, New Orleans this winter to just start a new project. I'm working on a, developing a TV series, but also... For, for Hulu? Well, in, we're not sure who's going to The rumor be. was that you might be doing some business with Hulu beyond yeah. Trill. Well, I work with Hulu and Trill. And, you know, there's it, Hulu. Let it go. But <laughs> okay, but somebody else. We're going to bring up. it. We can bleep that out too. Right. <laughs> um, but I'm. I started. I was like, I'm, I always wanted to write a novel, and I was like, why not now? So it's a kind of science fiction, uh, religious fantasy, subatomic particles, Gnostic God. It's one of those classic John Cameron Mitchell, yeah. simple, simple plot. Yeah. Right? Exactly. 